All right, here we have the B2 clutches, and we're about to put these inside. First, we're putting in the beveled spring again. Look at how it goes down inside there. Okay, get a closer view. See that the one knot slip uh, fits inside the uh, slot there. See the notch? It's right here in that bigger slot there. Okay, you can see it right here. It's a big slot. Okay. Next, we're going to put in a steel. Then you have a clutch that goes inside. And then this is a, a, a clutch, but this the steels. And you have the clutch double-sided clutch and then you have a steel and the clutch again steel clutch steel clutch Then the pressure plate. Now, look at the pressure plate. You see, there's a, a side here. One is rounded, there, rounded, and the other side is flat. Okay, the flat side goes down. Then the spring, the snap ring, excuse me. Make sure that snap ring is inside the groove. Uh, okay, next we're going to the B3 clutches. Okay, and you're going to put a friction, or excuse me, uh, another bevel spring down first. Then come a steel. Then you got a friction. And the steel and the friction, the steel and the friction, up until you get to the to the uh, pressure plate, and then tie the pressure plate in or secure it in with the snap ring. So after doing this a while, you get a chance to see the routine and see what pretty much happens with a lot of transmissions. After you get used to rebuilding a lot of transmissions, you will find out that you can pretty much rebuild any transmission. There might be clutches just in different areas, maybe one set, two set, three set, whatever set. You will learn the routine. And what you don't know, you can get the book. and help you with the, the different variations. Okay, make sure you take the screwdriver and use it as a pick so that you can 
make sure you put the snap ring inside its groove. Alright, now you have the snap ring in there. So you got the B2 and the B3 clutches inside the case. Okay? You're going right around the groove. Make sure they're in because if they're not, the pressure will pop it out. Alright, so now we're going to the next day. We are here with the case. And we have this drum here that we are going to put in. Make sure you put some Vaseline or some uh, transmission lube here. Uh, it's best to oil it too. I'll put a little oil there. You don't want the rings to bust. Some oil down in there. Put some oil on the rings. We're gonna set this down inside now. The clutches on the bottom have to engage with this, and the clutches on the top have to engage with this. these splines. Uh-oh, you didn't see that, did you? Okay, the clutches on the bottom, and I'll say it again, have to engage with this part. The clutches on the uh, top have to engage with this part. Okay, here we go. Now, we're going to try to get these in here. See if I can kind of line these up a little bit. Okay, so here we go. I'll take this here, I'll set this down inside. Ooh, this is the rough part, not so easy part. Doesn't want to mesh. <sighs> Hard to hold this thing. Try again. Whew. Come on down through there. There we go. Huh. Now, now I had to, uh oh. Thing wanted to fall. Sorry, sorry for that. I'm gonna turn this. Just gotta engage into the clutches here. Truth. Now, this is going to take some time because you have to turn this and turn this until it drops down. Those clutches have to mesh or align with the splines and some of them are off. So you got to turn until you feel the drum go down, down, down.
<sighs> this doesn't seem like it's going to be easy. want to hear is this sound if you can hear it you want to hear the metal washer sl slamming against the back if you hear that you're all the way down the clutches are all engaged or splined however there is a way um, to make sure you're all the way down and it's like measuring with a T make sure you're all the way down. If you're not all the way down, when you go and put on a bell housing and you tighten the bolt, you will not be able to tight, uh, um, turn the input shaft. Okay? So, for those who don't know, when it's down, it's best to use a measurement to see when you're all the way down. You can measure from this clutch plate here to here. Uh, let me see if I can find one something to show you. It would be about okay. We measure from the corner of this drum to that steel plate. Better caliber. Can you use here? I'm using millimeters here. I'm see. Depth mic. showing 80.86 millimeters 80.86 millimeters and I am using this depth gauge here I am touching that this plate that pressure plate at the bottom and touching the edge of this drum Just to let you know if you're all the way down so Again, showing 80.8986. So you got some plus or minus here. So about 80.89. Not higher than that, I guess. Let's see. It's 80.95 here. So, I would say no more than 81. Again, I'm touching this plate here with this part here, and I'm measuring this part here. Okay. This thing is sensitive, so again eighty point nine six. No eighty one. No more than eighty one. You're around that area. Well, 
another thing, like I said, when you press, when you lift this a bit and let it slam, you will hear it, the bearing part slamming against its race. You know you're all the way down too. Okay, so that's this drum right here. Now, we're going to move over to the next drum. Now, this bearing has a race that covers it right here. And you see how it looks, the ridge here. It doesn't go with the ridge down, okay? It goes with the ridge up. What we're gonna do now is put the next drum on top of that. That drum will be the input drum. Let's see here. That's going to be this drum right here. The clutch is in it. So we're going to put this one on next. 